Welcome to Magical Monday, and it is another magical week ahead. Uh, just a quick little snippet this week, we have the new moon on Sunday, and also on Sunday we have Mercury retrograde. So I'll be talking about that and how the energies are affecting us because it's all about Leo, Leo the line this week. So hello on Instagram and I've moved the camera to another side so I can see the comments on Facebook. Okay, so I've got the comments um, up here and... Okay, and my apologies in regards to the event, Bright, the event um, series ended last week and I didn't realise that, yeah, no um, uh, reminders went out on Eventbrite. So I'll get that started. There's been a change in my VAs, so a few things have fallen through the cracks. So my apologies to those who always come each week. But I am here with the energy update because the energies are definitely revving up on the planet. And like I said, it will continue for the rest of this year and even into next year, actually the next couple of years. So just keep riding that surfboard, riding the waves, and, um, and we're all in this together. So how can you most support yourself right now and be kind and gentle with yourself that that's really a strong message that's coming through um, with the energies and I've been talking about this for weeks you know looking at your shadow sides looking at those aspects the things that are not working for you and uh, looking at the parts of yourself which you may be judging or or criticizing putting yourself down uh, not believing in yourself the or it could be your heart and just feeling that grief and emotional pain of sadness, being betrayed, um, maybe from past relationships, past emotional events that were significant in your life. And I really urge you to do your inner child work and connect with your little boy or your little girl. And this is a fantastic time to really reflect and go go within and review all it's like doing a life review and I've spoken about this once before and I'm actually going through this as well writing out the new chapter for my life and because I'm working on my book right now and I'm bringing all the different chapters and different stories which I've written over the years and some of those stories are quite uh, traumatic and um, those who know me know that, yeah, my childhood was not rosy <laughs> and joyful and this is why I'm on my path of of healing and growing, but that's what I signed up for. And I also chose all my family to play the roles in order for my soul to learn and grow. So we have these agreements and contracts before we come here. And, and for me, I put my hand up and signed up to have all these people in my life to play those roles for me so if you're also feeling um, any emotional pain or that you're still carrying I strongly believe to do a lot of inner child work and and you can always reach out if you're not sure how to go through that process um, I do explain it more in the uh, five-hour renewal program and and also I work with um, my one-on-one -on -one clients when I'm coaching them and we do a lot of inner child work a lot of forgiveness work um, looking at all 
the relationships in their life and we clean all that up. So this is a time as we're moving forward rapidly, the energy on the planet is just rapidly getting faster. And, and this is our time to really look at what's ending, what's completing. Even um, a lot of my clients are going through major transformations right now. And so one of my clients, she's leaving a job and also moved house and about to start a new job, which she's yet to be offered. Um, and so there's all new beginnings for her, but it's about putting in the paperwork this week, any legal stuff, any paperwork, anything that needs to be done, especially if it's, you know, court paperwork. Um, a couple of my clients, you know, they're going through uh, court and legal issues, um, divorce, property mm -hmm. settlement. Uh, so there's this is the week to get all that paperwork and get everything completed, okay, because um, it is about completing and ending so we can step into your new chapter, new future, new beginnings from Sunday. Uh, now, because we also have Mercury retrograde, it may feel like a bit of a, a, a push-pull, but just know it, it, during the Mercury retrograde, it's about communication. It's about, you know, dotting your I's, crossing your T, looking at all contracts, um, looking at and uh, rereading emails before you send them or being very aware of the conversations that you're having because August, the, 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 the energy is quite volatile. So especially with Mercury retrograde and where there could be communication glitches as well as technology glitches, just be aware of what the planets are doing and the energy at the moment, okay? So um, and, and also next week we have the uh, portal opening on the 8th of the 8th, but I'll talk about that next week. And, and how that um, and, and you know how that will impact you but also what you can do during that portal opening because that's another really powerful time. Um, but with this new moon, it is a because it's in Leo, Leo the line, it's loud, it's big, it's vivacious, it's all about, you know, you stepping into who you truly are and moving forward on your direction for your highest good and destiny and also the highest good and destiny for everybody involved. Remember, we're all on this playground together to learn and grow and, and expand and evolve together. So as the energies are really speeding up, I encourage you to come back into alignment with yourself What and come back to your heart, what truly feels true for you. And when making those choices and decisions, be very aware and conscious about those choices and decisions, especially long-term plans and how um, they will impact your life long term, as well as what's the consequences of you making that choice and decision. Okay, um, so because there's a lot of there's a lot of big other planets going on, um, Jupiter, you know, big expansion, but we also have uh, and and Jupiter is actually at a square with. Saturn so Saturn is where the brakes are put on um, and so that's where it's really important to yeah review everything okay um, so it, it, that's where the push pull comes in and then it's like okay I'm racing forward on my goals and then Saturn goes whoa pull pull back so I encourage you to move forward with your goals, 
and just keep checking in. Is this for my highest good and destiny? Okay, so it's about mental awareness and also keep checking in to your heart and, and just stopping and breathing. Breathing in and out of your heart. This is heart coherence. Okay, this is where um, you are just imagining your breath coming in and out of your heart. And what this will do is regulate your heart rhythm and your breathing and also work with your nervous system to just slow your whole nervous system down. And what this will do is then slow your thoughts down. Then that will help you to come into alignment in order to receive those messages, to receive the wisdom, to receive the answers. Because when we're constantly racing and, and just thinking about our to-do list, well, there's so much noise going around and around and around in our head that that's when we don't hear the answers. And I've been teaching meditation for decades and so many people go, how do you stop the, the chatter in, in, in your head? And it's slowing down, listening to your breath, focusing on your heart, and just breathing slowly and gently in and out of your heart space. And you can do that right now. And what that will do is just regulate your heart rhythm um, and, and just help you to receive the messages. Okay. There's a whole training. I mean, I've actually studied with Heart Math Institute. So this is what they they go into more on explaining the science around it and and I'll I'll do another video and I'll let you know um I'll I'll go through a separate meditation on that okay so this is a time of review review reflection and reevaluating and and create something new create your new chapter for your life and and just keep moving forward and just trust trust and have faith um that you are on your path and you are moving forward and and just be kind and gentle with yourself um especially yeah for the rest for the rest of this year i was going to say you know august is going to be a doozy um we've got the full moon coming up on august the 19th which is wow so uh yeah so be kind and gentle with yourself um during well the next several months because there's a lot going on on the planet i also did a quick live um on the weekend uh, and just talking about do not get caught up in the drama in the world because if you're getting caught up in the drama what it's doing is bringing your energy vibration down it's also creating a lot of unnecessary fear which is not true and and it's actually affecting you if you keep giving mm -hmm. energy and attention to all the um, videos and the stuff on social media and all these uh, disasters and oh my god this this event because the truth's coming to the surface so there's a lot of systems that have been broken for decades they're all crumbling so there's a lot of shake up right now and that's what we're all going through we're all being shaken up and and reevaluating everything that is not true that's not for our highest good and destiny and it's just crumbling and uh, moving out of our life so this new moon is like a big breakthrough and it's like a rebirth and it's aligning with your dreams but first we need to shake off 
the the dust from the past okay and looking at those shadow areas looking at those areas that have been holding you back or keeping you stuck and those patterns and old programs and old beliefs so it, it's a really exciting time okay now i'm going to choose a card um from the mystical journey and this is a, a deck um i've had for a while but i haven't been yeah i haven't used it for a while and it really called to me today the mystical journey because that's what we're all on and uh, we're on this magical mystical miracle journey um forging forward and having all these experiences um, and experiencing things on the planet that have never happened or occurred before. So it is a really exciting journey. And it is all new beginnings. We are creating heaven on earth. We are co-creating together the world that we choose to live in. We are together with mass consciousness creating the, the world of love joy and peace and if you keep focusing on that's the world I choose to live in that's the kind of people I choose to be around and that's what I'm vibrating out well guess what you'll keep bringing in more and more things that just keep filling you up that feel joyful bring you happiness Make, you know, do that happy dance and celebrate together and feel that love in your heart. Feel your love for yourself and for your brothers and sisters. And the more you can keep focusing on that energy, well, guess what? You'll keep creating more and more. And I've got a funny story. So I write in my gratitude journal every day and I wrote out, you know, I'm, I'm so thankful and grateful for the abundance that I have in my life from expected and unexpected sources. So last week I was walking home and I, on the footpath, there was a um, a travel card. And so in Brisbane, we have these cards and you have to, um, it, it's got a, a number on the back and then you have, um, you, you top it up. So you tap it on and tap it off when you get on public transport. And so I, I picked up this card and it's like, someone's lost their card. How do I you know, because it's got no name on it. It's not like a credit card that you can do a search. So I called TransLink and I said, look, I found this card and I'd like to return it to the owner. And anyway, and he looks up the number and he said it's not registered mm -hmm. to anyone. And so, yeah, it's like we don't know who it belongs to. And I went, well, what do I do with it? Just throw it away. And he said, well, there's actually a balance on it um, of $34. And he said, because we don't know who it belongs to, that actually gets transferred to you. And I went, wow, well, there's the unexpected abundance, right? So I actually got $34 transferred to my go card and and so I just did a happy dance I went wow you know this is how the law of attraction and when we set our intention on what we want it's like just surrender and be open to the abundance coming from unexpected sources I was not expecting that at all and what a lovely surprise to receive that gift and my intention was to return the card to the the owner, but it wasn't registered in the system. Um, and yeah, TransLink um, just cancelled it, but um, I received that gift. Um, so that that's a quick little story for you um, of. You never know where the unexpected resources are coming from, okay? Um, and, and just open up to receive. 
Okay, I'm going to choose a card for for everybody. This is for the collective and for everyone on the planet. This is July the 29th. Um, we've got the new moon in Leo. We've got Mercury retrograde also th this Sunday and Mercury mm -hmm. retrograde will be retrograde for the next three weeks. Um, the energy is just revving up. Um, and I just keep reminding you, come back to your heart, okay? Um, keep come back to your heart and make sure you ground, connect with nature, be kind to yourself, nurture yourself. And I, and I said this, you know, over the weeks, especially if your um, your inner child has gone through a lot of grief, a lot of trauma, this is your time to actually nurture and nourish and parent your inner child, okay, and fill yourself up with love that you didn't maybe receive as a child growing up. So practice that. Even with the heart coherence breathing, it's a practice. And the more you practice every day, you, you'll keep dropping, 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 dropping really more and more into your heart. And, and that's where the magical moments will take off for you. Trust me, I've, I've done it and I've gone, gone from up here and then I've been at rock bottom as well. So I know the contrast and I'm, I know how spirit works. And I know how protected we all are on, on this playground that we call Earth. You're always protected. You're always safe. So have faith and trust that you are being guided. Okay. So I was waiting for one to jump out. And let's feel into... Which one I am guided? Okay. Ah, rebirth. So this is the card. I, I just talked about rebirth and that's what we're all experiencing and feeling right now with this new energy closing out the old and moving into the new. So the rebirth message is you feel you have done your best to make yourself lovable, to be the perfect lover, wife, husband, mother, father, child, sibling or friend. However, every failure and every disappointment has left you feeling disillusioned and broken. Each break symbolizes a past trauma, a broken heart, a wound, the loss of a dear friend, a betrayal. How easy would it become? Sorry, how easy it would be to become bitter and hardened in your heart against love. In your distress, call upon the universal spirit of love and it will patiently guide you to rebuild yourself piece by piece. The rebirth card is inspired by Kintsuki, the Japanese art of repairing broken pottery with gold. The broken pieces are lovingly mended with golden lacquer and become part of the object's story. A beautiful technique that highlights the imperfections of each break. Similarly, each broken part of, your, of you becomes part of the rich tapestry of your life story. Through destruction comes repair and rebirth. 
You must accept and love all your broken pieces and transmute them into gold and love, becoming stronger in the process. The pure gold of love will open your heart and soul and like the gold leaf in Kintsuki will restructure the broken pieces of your heart and make it shine. You are becoming a new being. So the action for you to take is focus on the spirit of love that rests in you and bring it to the center of your life. This action will free you from feeling dependent on the love of others to feel whole because you are loved by love itself. And that just sums up what we've been talking about is we've all gone through so many different emotional events over the years. And so those bring all those broken pieces and they're not really broken, but with the love that you have in your heart, that's the gold that brings those pieces back together. That also is how you align back to your true authentic self. So regardless of what's happened in your past, regardless of all the stories, you come back to your heart, back to your soul, back to who you truly are. And that's where you will shine and radiate the love within you. And so that is a perfect card that just sums up everything that we are feeling energetically right now with the planets, with the timing um, right today and will continue. So be kind and gentle with yourself and keep coming back to your heart. And for the new moon, plant your seeds of intentions for the next month, but also for the new future, the new being that you're stepping into, the new version of you who you're stepping into, rewrite the story, rewrite the chapter. Uh, this is one of the steps that I take people through in my five-day discovery. Each day is a, a different step. And what on day four, it's about rewriting your story. So this is your opportunity right now to rewrite the story of your new life on who you are becoming, who you're stepping into, and the new version of you, and completely rewrite the script, the movie script of your life, rewrite it, and and then put your energy and intention into that for this new moon this Sunday. So this week, focus on cleaning up any any paperwork, any signing, any contracts, get um, all the structural stuff cleaned up before Sunday, um, which is the Mercury retrograde as well as the new moon. And this week, focus on your plans, your vision for the future, and also ask yourself what needs to be cleaned up that doesn't belong to my new future, that doesn't belong to my new story and where I'm moving into. And, and be honest with yourself. Only you know. And, and be kind to yourself as well and trust yourself. Trust and have faith and, and surrender. And so, and during this time, it's a big shake-up shake up you know and so imagine um and I've done this in different visualizations and meditations you know those lettuce spinners where you put the lettuce in it then you, after you've washed it and then you spin it and and see all all the water and the particles just being splattered out and then you pour the water out of the container so put you and visualize your body going into like a lettuce spinner and it's being 
washed and then spun and anything that no longer works for you, no longer belongs to you, any energy that is um, heavy or dense or dark or or that isn't for your highest good and destiny and, and any energy that's the opposite to light, see it all spin off and just see it all dissipate and and throw like just and you can do this with the breath and just just throw it out so that it's dissolved into the atmosphere and that's how powerful you are you can do this at any time and that's how you can cleanse your energy field cleanse your mind of anything that's actually cluttering or bringing your energy down or keeping you stuck and um it's so simple. It's like we have all of these tools within us and and all, all these tools is what I've been teaching for many decades. And so um, you can get more in my programs. If you'd like to have a one-to-one, -one, I encourage you to book in and find a time on my calendar. And I look forward to having a private conversation with you. So this is a quick little update this week is the keep riding your your surfboard the energy is electrifying it's powerful but just know how powerful you are and, and not get caught up in the chaos out in the external world just be the observer see it like the tornado okay and the tornado is just like go woo woo right and you're watching and you're observing but you don't have to go and stand in the tornado to well it's unnecessary unless you like to be part of the chaos or drama so take a step back and remove yourself from any any chaotic energy or situations or circumstances in your life that's causing you a lot of grief and a lot of drama and take a step back. Do not get involved in it. Do not feed your energy and don't even share your opinion because then you're hooked into it. Okay, we all have opinions, but as soon as you make a judgment or you make an opinion or you want to share your your opinion um well it, it's it's just feeding the energy and then it just um yeah grows and it, so keep coming back to your heart if you want to say something is this coming from a place of love no ego coming from my heart space and I'm just having love and compassion for myself as well as everyone around me and just keep sending love and compassion to all those involved as well and, and keep breathing into your heart, feeling the energy of love, peace. Seeing that, let me know how you go and I look forward to hearing from you, seeing how you're going on this journey. If you need support, you can reach out and have a chat. Um, it's free to have a chat. And I do work one-to-one -one with clients. I also have a burnout program for corporate. And I've worked with um, corporate individuals as well as corporate companies with my burnout program. And then I also um, have the 5R renewal program, which I've had for many years and that's going through the five steps of release, realign, restore, rebalance, and re-energize. So if that um, resonates with you, well, you can always, okay, Shirley is jumping on. I'll just let Shirley in before we wrap up today. And um, so, hi, Shirley. I was just about to finish up. Do you have a question? And thank you for being here. And you're on mute, so I'm not sure if you're 
So while I'm waiting for Shirley, hi Shirley. Hi, hi. I'm How so are sorry. You? Um. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So I've I've just um given the energy update and mm -hmm. there was a, a a technical glitch that the Eventbrite um wasn't updated for them. so um you're the only one that's jumped on today um and if you'd like a card this one just came up the three of emotions. So what wonderful news is on its way. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, births or graduations will be revealed. New friends will be made or communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. So that's another confirmation of what we were just talking about with the new moon and, um, this Sunday. And it is all about new beginnings. Um, plus it also, and I mentioned this last week, is cleaning up anything that needs to be completed, anything that needs to be ended. Um, and this can be endings of relationships, endings of jobs, careers, changing paths. Um, it is all about new beginnings. So do a big reevaluation on your life and look at what's working, what's not working, and, and also um, rewrite your story for your new life. So, uh, Shirley, you can go back and listen to uh, the beginning, just so I'm not repeating myself. But do you have a specific question you'd like to ask? Um, I, I, I was going to see if I can have a, um, a reading for my energy. And I understand that I uh, new beginning. Um, I have been struggling um, still at struggling with the attachment uh, from the past with the past so that really, that has been like even yesterday was really emotional and struggling um so i i i'm still trying my best to move forward rather than looking back but the past just keep on popping out in my mind 24 7 apart from the time i'm i'm sleeping any waking moment, I'm, I'm, I'm still really struggling with um, pushing the mind, uh, pushing the past out of my mind. Um, I don't know. I'm, I, I, I have this um, thinking. If my mind keep on going back to the past, is that the universe trying to tell me there is, there is a reason for it that I need to, I need to focus on that. Maybe maybe there is still opportunity. There is reconciliation. Like I'm I'm trying my best, but it's still not working, and still keep on popping up in my dream um, during the daytime. And I push push that mark, that thought away, and then it keeps coming back. Everything in my life is just related to to the past. Um, so it drives me nuts. Honestly. So I'm just saying, trying to say. What the universe is trying to tell me, right? What was it? Because this, it is supposed to. I shouldn't let go. I, I sh it's meant to be, yeah. and I need to keep trying, try harder. No, what what I'm getting really strongly for you is let go and surrender, surrender. Just let it all go. You know, it it's like when you're holding on so strongly this is causing you a lot of mental conflict and you're holding on to all this past grief and sorrow and sadness and hurt and and it's just bringing your energy down um and causing a lot of mental conflict and also bringing your energy down which um will be affecting your sleep as well 
Um, yeah. and, and also just creating more and more um, turmoil in your life because you when when your energy is vibrating at a low frequency in in that fear and anger and sadness and guilt and shame and sorrow and just feeling helpless well then you're going to attract more of that mm. into your life and and then it just becomes this whole soup of like now I've just lost who I truly am lost my identity so I just explained a, a quick little metaphor um, of the lettuce spinner and if you can imagine yourself like after you've had a shower or washed yourself this is where um, wash, when you're swimming in the ocean it's so cleansing so imagine you're in this lettuce spinner and it's spinning off all the uh, water particles. See that? Push out all this energy, just push it all the way out. And this is where the breathing comes in. So right now, just take a deep breath in, big breath. And with your intention, just blow out all this energy, blow it all the way out so you just see it all just dissolving out into the atmosphere and push that out and, and keep doing that. Keep coming back to your heart. So the, the heart coherence breathing technique is just Focusing on your heart space, breathing in and out very slowly to slow your heart rhythm down, to slow your breathing down so the, the breath is long and slow on the inhale and the exhale. And what that will do is create this nice rhythmic cycle of breathing then that's working with the central nervous system, with the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. The deep breathing is activating your vagus nerve and then that it's just slowing your breath down and your whole nervous system, which is helping you to come into alignment with you. And once you're in alignment and back to your heart space and being true to yourself, then nothing and no one out there can affect you. It's like you are connected to source energy. You're grounded. Go and stand on the grass with bare feet and do this breathing technique. Okay. And, one and then let me know how you go. Book, book in for an appointment, Shirley. Just yeah. do, do that simple technique right now then let me know how you go um and then then we'll, we'll continue this conversation okay, okay. How, how many times i should do that in the day like morning before i go to bed uh before when i get when i wake up in the morning first thing i do or just how many times i want whenever i feel like to do it do it as many times as you can you're breathing from the moment, well, 24 seven. So, but the more when you become intentional about your breathing and just keep bring your intention to your heart space, mm -hmm. well, then yeah. that's going to bring you more into coherence with who you truly are. Okay. You feel that I lost my time too. I love you. So keep, keep me posted, okay? thank you so much and, you. and write out um your new intentions for sunday for the new moon um go back and re-watch the beginning of everything i've shared um yeah. where, where do i watch what watch the replay uh from the zoom uh watch the replay on uh facebook or youtube Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And yeah. so I do. Thank you. Um 
Ah, and Mark is looking for a card. So, Mark, I'll just quickly choose a card for you. He's just sent a message. He's on Facebook. So, hi, Mark. Thanks for being here. Okay. So, a card for Mark. And I've got the Guardian Angel tarot cards today. For something different. And... Okay, Mark, um, please put in the comments one, two, or three, and I'll make three piles. So one, two, or three, Mark, and I'll just wait for the answer to come through. taking a while also with the mercury retrograde just there may be some technology glitches and uh, so be be patient uh, with little hiccups here and there and okay three so the eight of action is your card mark and it says there's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you and yet it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love and express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that you are taking that are taking up your time even if life feels challenging if you're asked to travel and take a flight then do so with confidence so that's the, the card, Mark. And I'll just um, have a quick check on if there's any other meaning. So moving boldly and swiftly forward, needing to get organized, travel by air or sudden flashes of inspiration. So does that resonate with you, Mark? So it's all about taking action um, and but also being aware that if you've got too many things on your to-do list, it can be overwhelming. So this is where, you know, that the structure comes in and, and especially with um, the energies right now, it, it's, it's about looking and reviewing everything um, and and looking at m moving forward but also feeling into each one of those projects, feeling into your plans, your vision, um, trust. So make your choices and decisions on each one um, on what feels good and what feels strong for you because with the energies right now we've got you know the new moon and leo which is all like go for it you know leo takes risks and that but then we also have the mercury retrograde which is like um put pulling the brakes but we also have the, the Saturn um, and Jupiter, which is that push-pull, and, and Saturn's about really, um, it's about retraction, it's about change, it, it's um, so sudden, sudden changes to plan. So especially if, you know, the lion is galloping forward and then um, the energy comes in and goes, stop, you're, you're, everything's changing right now. So... Be very clear about your intentions um, and believe in yourself. Believe in your gifts, your talents, and but but stay flexible. Stay flexible when uh, moving forward with all these plans and reevaluate along the way. Keep reevaluating. If something doesn't feel good, let it go. So. 
Um, I, I trust that resonates with you. Also, in um, at one thirty today, that's in forty minutes. I will be giving a webinar, a live webinar um, on the Burnout to Bliss program and and going through some exercises to stop the burnout cycle, reclaim your mode joy, your energy, and that's based on the Ben method of balance, energy, nurture and nourish and stepping into the new version of you. So if you'd like to join me live for that um, presentation, it starts in 40 minutes on Zoom. And there is an Eventbrite link, and I'll pop that into the chat in uh, YouTube, YouTube as well as on Facebook. And also, um, this will be uploaded to YouTube. I may um, go live on YouTube instead of Facebook in the future. Let me know if that is more convenient for you because I am building up my YouTube channel. So going live will help that process. And um, and also I appreciate you following, liking and subscribing to my channel. So thanks everyone. Go and have a magical week. Go and create miracles. Rewrite your new story, the new chapter of your life and sending much love and many blessings to you all. Until next Monday, take care and much love. Bye for now. And goodbye, Shirley. Thanks for Bye. being here.